Hello my soul interns, welcome back to the Utsukushi Grim channel. You can call me Grim and welcome back to Pokemon Entity. Last time in our adventure, you faced your first guardian of Rumeda, Mr. Uweba, who gave you this old pink and green crystal and instructions to face the remaining guardians of the region. Make sure to watch that video to see Rumeda's first conversion Pokemon. And if you're interested in conversion Ultra Beast, keep watching this video and keep watching for a very special guest. Whoever sends you off on a boat prepared for you near the piers of Doki Beach. With parting words of encouragement, you and Milky set sail off to Trollt Island, an attractive island resort bursting with music and confetti. From a distance, it looks like the island's having some sort of festival or celebration. As you look forward to Trollt Island, something catches your eye. Swimming in the ocean beside you, the boat captain notices your attention to those new Pokemon swimming by and tells you all about them as you slowly land by Trollt Island shore. Water Pokemon, especially fish themed Pokemon are some of the hardest for me to design. That and rock Pokemon, fish can be so varied yet their body shape is just shaped like a fish. So I looked for strange fish for this region and found out about the many types of dolphin. One being the panda dolphin. So I said, you know what, sometimes in the deck simple is best. Meet Mermau, the baby panda Pokemon, with his name coming from mermaid and his Xiongmao, meaning panda in Mandarin. These Pokemon are carefree and are able to breathe both on land and underwater. Mermau are usually seen in pairs. Mermau will be a water normal type with the ability stick fat and oblivious. Quite a simple design yet adorable. Literally a panda dolphin. It's squishy, it's cute and I want it in my life. For the evolution, I wanted it to be the big hungry boy. So it goes from being aloof and carefree to lazy. Pandas love to eat, what can I say? And since it's a panda of the ocean, it's eating seaweed. Yep, that's it. I just thought a weird animal fusion would be something you see on an alien planet from Earth. This is Mermanda, the water panda Pokemon with his name coming from mermaid and panda. Mermanda are sluggish and lazy. They only go in the water to search for seaweed left by Delmice after they died off. Mermanda, like its pre-evolution, will keep the water normal typing and its abilities. This thick boy's dex references the extinction of Delmice in the region of Romeda. Delmice were brought here? during the collision, an incident that will be explained in a future episode. But Delmice from Alola arrived here in Romeda, and Mamanda being big and cute are actually pretty scary predators when they enjoy how you taste. You see many Mermau lounging around the beach shores of Trollt Island, but as you look into the far ocean, you see a pop of color from the blue waters. Not only was it a Pokemon you've never seen, you've never even heard of anything that sounded like what this thing looked like. Ah, curious about those orange things, huh, kid? It's one of the floaties from the Naris group up in Jirmar City. We call them UCs and gave this little resort some of the floaty ones. This Pokemon is part of a special group that the boat captain called UCs, which stands for Ultra Clones. The Nautics group created almost perfect replicas of what we know as Ultra Beasts, with DNA slightly altered. Ultra clones were created for the benefits of the Romeda region and its growing environment since the collision. This is Vitalego, the symbiosis Pokemon, codename UC Float, one of the ultra clones of Nautix. This sociable being was built to save lives from the sea. Regardless of weight, they stay afloat. Vitalego will be a pure water type with the ability Clone Boost, which is basically Beast Boost. The themes of the Ultra Clones are designed to be the opposite of the Ultra Beast forms. For example, Nihilego stands for nihilism and emptiness and depression and is found in the Ultra Deep Sea, while Vitalego stays afloat the ocean, saving lives and being one with people. Oh, you Neb, hurry up! We need to see the festival now! Ula, chill. We're still here to report back about the Void of Lego, you know. And that's over, so get off the Void of Lego and we'll find a let's go to the festival. That's stupid. You're stupid and slow as hell, so hurry up! 
Oh, no, man, them kiddos, those are the twin admins so of that daughter scoop I was talking about. Can't really stop them with Miss Admin Ula make the fuss. Who's making a fuss, old man? You don't have a problem with us working, right? And what's with you, kid? Not happy with me or something? Ula notices that you're stepping closer to the boat, Captain, since she's being kind of aggressive. You know what? Before I join the fishing contest, I'ma beat these kids and their Pokemon. Don't need to join me, Neb. I can handle both of them myself. Ula starts a double battle with you and Milky. In this fight, she brings out her partner Pokemon, a new Pokemon called Tianling. We won't get into this Pokemon or its evolutions just yet. But you do learn that it's dragon type. The Nautics group are a team of researchers of Romana's Pokemon. Unlike Professor Tupelo's research into the Pokemon's behavior, the Nautics group travel around Romana and even the outskirts of the region, taking in samples and DNA. More biological research. Neb and Ula are the twin admins of this group, and admin Ula can be a little feisty. Ula's hot attitude was capable of beating Milky. <laughs> That's right, you are messed with me! You messed with us first, then get stronger, Wakeling! Those words pierced through Milky, who was already in self-doubt. You were the one that defeated Batilla, and you were the one that defeated Ueva. Now Milky was defeated by Ula. Even though this was a journey for her, you managed to defeat Admin Ula. What? Enough, Ula. Stop wasting time listening to people you've never met. Don't you have a fishing contest to do? And you? You should join the contest too. The Island's Guardian will be there. It's quite rare to see. Yet not rare enough to hear his loud war cries. I was going easy on you here, but don't expect leniency in the contest. The twins leave, and Milky speaks softly. You go on ahead to the festival. I think I'm gonna stay here a little and train. I need to get stronger. I'm not gonna keep relying on you. Not wanting to bother her anymore, you do as you're told, and you head on further into Troll Island. Oh yeah! yeah! Welcome to the biannual Mermouth Fishing Contest, you happy Saxa Harvesters! This is your captain speaking, your resort manager, and judge, Tyson! Yeah! I see many familiar dudes! I think I see some interesting new ones too. So, get yourself moving like an Oricorio. Those Mermau aren't gonna be attracted if you don't got the schmooze. Sun's out, fun's out, high tides in, low tides in. Let's get grooving, dudes. And that's where we'll end our adventure for today. Did any of the new Pokemon make it to your team? What do you think about the twin admins of the Nautics group, Neb and Ula? And thank you to our very special guest, Kaifun, for being the voice actor of Titan. Make sure to check out Kaifun's Instagram and YouTube channel that I will link down below. He's voice acted in roles such as the Dung Defender and the Last Stack in Hollow Knight's Hollow Nest Vocalized mod. Passengers would come here to conduct rituals for those who had passed on. Thank you once again, Kaifun, for being Titan and bringing him to life. And thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to see what comes next in Pokemon Entity. Oh, happy day!